welcome back to the ME262 build uh, this time we're doing the two-tone camo paint the green stuff and normally when I'm painting this I would just start off with the lightest color of the camo and uh, just paint the surface and then mask it off and paint the darker colors but in this case since I'm using the the pre-shade pre-shading method I'm uh, I'm using a pencil and I'm roughly going by the instruction sheet uh, the pattern and I'm uh, sketching, it, sketching it onto the the wings and the fuselage <laughs> so when I spray the darn thing I can um, I have a, at least some sort of a reference as to when to stop painting just so that I won't paint too thick on the uh, shading and uh, hide it too much because I don't want to do that but I don't know if this if the camera picks it up but yeah that's how that looks like and uh, the paint the pencil should not have too much effect I hope on the uh, on the final result so yeah like I say I'm just going looking at the lines on the uh, that's out of frame looking at the lines on the drawing and then just roughly doesn't have to be accurate just a little reference of course I want to overlap a bit just to get good paint clearance but yeah anywho this is what I'm doing this is how I'm doing it <laughs> so quite a simple solution to uh, not a very big problem though but since this is for a competition build of sorts I am I want to do this right and also this plane is has some meaning to me since it was the first kit my kids gave me I want to do this one real good not going to do it pink like my daughters are suggesting but <clears throat> I'll do another pink plane later and that's a somewhat painted ME262 uh, I'm really happy with the way this has turned out the pre-shading is still working a treat and uh, as you can see I had some small chipping going on there but that's easy to fix uh, but right here is the big one I think maybe somebody didn't clean the, the sanding dust off well enough so the paint didn't stick to anything so that's the next step I need to do is fix up these chippings this, is, this looks bad maybe but uh, just run a sanding stick over it and, and spray it again and also I forgot to paint this part here in dark dark green and tonight's so that's tonight's agenda this is painting night number three or four I'm losing count here uh, small touch-ups one big touch-up and then the, the splotches or the muddling or whatever you call it the spots yeah I finished the patch-up work did some spots uh, I must admit I'm pretty darn proud of this paint job so far it looks awesome to me uh, while I was waiting for the paint to dry 
I uh, went ahead and painted the landing gear and the bay doors and uh, right now I'm waiting for the paint to dry on the bay doors so I can put all the landing gear on it and give it a clear coat uh, here's a really nice feature I don't think you can see it the landing gear actually has molded on brake lines so it is fairly detailed and uh, very nice looking and I'm just like I said yeah I'm hoping to get this thing clear coated before I go to bed tonight so I can do the decals tomorrow now all the decals are on and uh, I was gonna do a thing now and that thing was is I'm going to be putting on uh, chips and uh, mostly just pen chips uh, as you can see all the decals they went on uh, pretty good even the swastika uh, the band here though uh, kind of it went on okay but then I put on some uh, micro set and micro sole and it started wrinkling up and it didn't quite settle after that but you can't really notice that unless you're looking for it so I'm just gonna soldier on with this I'm gonna put on the chipping before I do the uh, do the clear coat over the decals and right now I'm looking for my aluminum paint and I'm gonna do the chipping using uh, this little sponge which is the same sponge I used uh, to cover up the wheel wells and uh, oh yeah also has some decals underneath and I am super stoked about uh, the pre-shading I did it turned out really good I'm definitely gonna be doing more of that on future builds and I kinda wanna hurry up and do some kind of a modern jet now to see how see how the pre-shading works out for me on a modern US jet I actually have a F-16 going on right now in the work in progress drawer but uh, not really working on that right now oh yeah just get a little bit in there and I got this paper towel because I don't want a hell of a lot of scratches just a tiny bit just to make it look a little bit worn out well just uh, is it on dab 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 tiny bit on the leading edge of everything because I can imagine these get, would get kind of scratched up they do in my mind at least <laughs> not too much because of course this plane was a late arrival to the war so as was most of the late war German stuff was pretty much straight out of the factory excuse me if I go out of frame uh, I'm not really used to working like this on camera so yeah I'll just dabbing the sponge randomly getting a beautiful effect I don't think you can see it on camera but uh, you'll see it on the final pictures in the end in the final slideshow I believe the next part of the video is going to be the final part part it's not like I'm Norwegian or something and uh, a little bit more every leading surface I think should have some scratches nose bit of 
course not too much and the one thing I also want to do is up here because I had a little paint go off there when I was putting the decals on because I had it lying on the on upside down on the table so just hide the hide it with aluminum paint so there I'm pretty happy with this maybe a little bit over here a little bit more on yeah maybe I should yeah I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try brush a little bit of these raised rivets as well but uh, not gonna put that on camera so just gonna soldier on uh, dry brush the raised details a bit in random places for like a more worn out look and then I'm going to give it a clear coat of gloss and then I can add some uh, washes I don't know how much I'm gonna put a, a wash on it since it doesn't have much recessed panel lines of course I'll put a pin wash in the flaps and the aileron areas and with the stabilizers but uh... yeah then maybe just some small streaks on the wings and a fuselage and that's it oh yeah and also I have to I have to uh... add some more color to the engine exhaust I only put uh... I only painted these cones uh, gunmetal and I'm gonna put a little dark copper on it maybe a little clear blue I don't know we'll see how it goes so I am actually gonna cut it for this video here uh, the next one is probably just gonna be a final reveal or at least I hope so so thanks for sticking with me so far and uh, I'll see you next time Bye.